black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, guys. Here's the scoop. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's Philip Solo TV. Does anybody watch him? If you do, if you watch him and you're in my audience, leave it in the comments down below if you watch Philip Solo TV. The guy is killing it on YouTube. He's hilarious. Very old school style videos. But here is the scoop today. So there's a place near me, the sandwich shop, that I've been meaning to try. And I'm finally going to get to it. Uh, it's just like an independent sandwich shop. But they have a Philly cheesesteak. And I'm like, I haven't had one in a long time. And maybe this will incentivize me to do my own remake of one like I did before but now I can do it again for real like my style we're just brown bagging it okay napkins crucial already being successful got some fries it's my fries in a box warm ketchup love a good warm ketchup we got a fork even though we're not doing poutine but hey good measure and we got the main event the Philly cheese Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Take a look in that box. Damn, that's looking fire. Holy. I gotta get you out of here. Pickled jalapenos, cheese whiz. Gotta get it all. Damn, that's tight looking. That bun, like golden, toasty. We got some like home cut, like homemade fries. Okay, let's catch up these bees up. Fries are now looking like I killed someone and they're covered in blood, but really that's just the flavor. I'm actually gonna take heed of their situation with this fork and use it. Is it true if you don't use it, you lose it? Yeah, that's a good hand cut, house made fry. Just got that rustic, russet, authentic potato flavor that you just seek and desire in a hand cut. Okay, and this we got, obviously the cheesesteak, sauteed onions, the whiz, oh, the whiz, and pickled jalapenos. Now the question is, do I go in as like a foot long or do I cut it? Now let's just go for it. Wow, that's delicious. I can't even express to you how good that is. This is definitely a make you hungry video. Oh my god. The bun. Love it. Love the texture. The beef is perfectly shredded up. Nicely seasoned. Just salty enough. The whiz nice and rich. And the uh, pickled jalapenos is like the perfect additive. It's like it's a little bit of heat and then it, like the acidic cut. Through that cheese. Crazy town. I will definitely be trying the other. Menu items. from this location. So today I had this weird random thought about 
uh, like, I guess like parenting in the 90s, maybe as opposed to now, and I just, in my head, I was wondering, like, I don't think it happens anymore, but do kids, like, get spanked anymore? Because I certainly got spanked, and, uh, you know, I didn't turn out to murder my parents in their sleep, or shoot up my school, or anything like that, so, like, I don't, you know, I don't think it's really a thing that's necessarily a bad thing, like, Anyways, you know, don't beat the shit out of your kids, but, you know, a little reminder, hey, like, smarten up on the boss, like, that's not a bad thing. But then that got me to thinking, I wonder if this still exists, and that is the whole... wash your mouth out with soap movement I can't I haven't heard that in a long ass time but like my parents that was a whole thing back in the 90s was like if you swore as a kid your parents would threaten to wash your mouth out with soap because you had a potty mouth like literally get a bar of soap and force it in your mouth. And make you taste that flavor. Which is an undesired flavor. Especially on a juvenile, undeveloped palate. As you grow older, you discover a purple gum called Thrills, which tastes like soap, and then you chew it on purpose to eat soap gum. Shout out to Thrills Gum if anybody remembers that. But I got threatened to have my mouth washed out with soap a fair number of times. And I guess one time, I was being such a little shit disturber and pushing it to such an extreme that I guess my mom had to step up her game and take it to her extreme, a new extreme. And so, you know, I was pushing my luck or cruising for a bruising, as they might say back then. Shout out to 90 sayings and terminology. So I was cruising for a bruising and I think I was dropping like probably shit maybe. It could have been worse, but I was like, you know, you know when your parents tell you to stop something and then you do it anyways and stuff like that? You really test the limits. Well, my mom fucking snapped one day. And she was like, I'm going to soap your mouth, rinse your mouth out with soap. But not a bar of soap. Dish soap. Sunlight. And she like, I remember she like chased me upstairs. I got halfway. She like grabbed me, turned me around. She like had the bottle like ready to do it. And my sisters were like, we're like, no, no, like he's going to die. Like you can't put liquid soap. But she was just in a rage, I guess. And my mom's like a good person. Like that's all good. But you know, use your cool, whatever. You're a little shit. You're pushing your luck. My dad was asleep on, from night shift. Like he just got home from night shift. He had been asleep for, I don't know, you know. Four or five hours.
but my mom was going ham on me and she was adamant to like do this to teach me my lesson and then like my one sister ran up and like got him out of bed and shit and he's like what's like the commotion and and all that stuff and I mean I get how it sounds fucked up especially now in today's time but like anybody who grew up back then like that was the vibe like Parents weren't playing in the 90s, like. And they were allowed to not play, like, they were like. You're going to respect my rules. It was even harsher in, you know, decades before, but. It's just crazy how far from that we've come. That now, like, parents can't do shit. Without, like, pretty major consequence. I think kids should be disciplined within reason. Obviously, don't do anything act too crazy, but, you know, you gotta let them know who's boss. All right, that was phenomenal. I love that. That was amazing. Till the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true.